Kate, the Princess of Wales has reportedly found a new confidant within the royal family after the ongoing feud with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The deep feud between the Sussexes and Waleses shows no signs of healing following what has appeared to be a tense year for the royal family. According to former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond, William and Kate have found a new royal couple that they can confide in. Ms Bond said, I think William and Catherine feel they can confide in Edward and Sophie and there are so few people a royal can entrust with their thoughts and feelings. Speaking of Kate's bond with Sophie, Ms Bond added, Both Catherine and Sophie have a common touch. Perhaps because they lived normal lives before marrying, into the royal family. Ms Bond told OK. Sometimes it seems strange to realize that these are two different generations of royals as they seem much closer. But, especially after all that has happened, not only with the Queen's death but with Harry and Meghan leaving and Andrew getting sacked, the two couples have formed a tight bond. Speaking of the two royal women, Ms Bond added, they connect with the people they meet and look as if they really want to chat. They are the new female stars of the show, elegant, engaging and empathetic. Ms Bond then went on to discuss Sophie, adding, Sophie, in particular, is a wonderfully empathetic woman. The late Queen regarded her as another daughter, and, apart from one unfortunate scam when she was tricked by a News of the World reporter, Sophie has never put a foot wrong. And, because the age gap is not very great, she is a brilliant bridge between the generations. Previously speaking to OK, Ms Bond also described Sophie and Kate as key members of the list of working royals. Both Kate and the Duchess of Edinburgh have undertaken royal engagements solo, as well as with their husbands. Earlier this week, Princess Kate made a royal visit to Sittingbourne on Wednesday, September 27. As part of her Shaping Us campaign, Princess Kate met families at the Orchard, a centre for children with special educational needs. Also, earlier this week, the Duchess of Edinburgh stepped out at the late Italian President Giorgio Napolitano's non-religious state funeral in Rome.